Nityanandam, this is Sri Nitya, Maya Titananda and welcome to NTV News from Nityananda Dhyana Pidam, Bidadi. It's Wednesday, August 24, 2011. The headlines, Swamiji starts his commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita. Materialization of solidified mercury, beautiful, precious, navaratna, gemstones, emerald and a yellow stone here in Bidadi. Krishna Janmashtami celebrations in Nityananda Vedic Temple in Toronto and Malaysia, a report. 1008 Ganesha Sahasranama Archana at Anadeshwara Temple. Join the Vada Pradivada and Brahma Sutras. Visit ntv.nityananda.org. Now for the main news. Today, Swamiji started his talks on the first three sutras of Bhagavad Gita during the morning satsang. There have been many books and many commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, but everyone who was watching the live show would agree that this commentary was extraordinary. An extraordinary commentary from a rare extraordinary living and latent master. Let us watch a short clip from the morning satsang. So he came to have my darshan. He was talking to me about this alchemy science then he heard about the materialization so in the casual conversation he was telling Swamiji the alchemy itself is now the dying science but the materialization which is extraordinary and unimaginable powerful science and you are doing it so casually not only that the coming 30th we have a extensive research on materialization so we will capture exactly the moment the material the matter enters into our body in the form of, form of energy and becoming matter the whole thing will be captured live and presented to you all Because of my routine, too busy, I couldn't do otherwise. We were planning on 23rd itself. Anyhow, we will do it on 30th. He was telling me, Swamiji, if you can materialize solidified mercury, that will prove all the whole science. And it will clear all the doubts. It will clear all the myths and doubts around the materialization. Because the solidified mercury without any chemical is not available on the planet earth. The very molecular change which a mercury need to go through to get solidified without any chemical added. is impossible humanly and if you can materialize solidified mercury that will be a solid proof for the power of materialization so just yesterday during the kundalini awakening session for inner awakening nitidevi was here and actually i was working for last two three session First, small, small bits came out, solidified and came out. Yesterday evening, during the Kundalini awakening session, a full, big size, solidified mercury got materialized its year. If you missed the morning session, you can watch it again on NTV. For more details, please visit our website, nityananda.org. In Miracle News, during today's morning session, we witnessed the materialization of another emerald and also a bright yellow diamond. Yesterday, while the darshan was going on for the inner awakening participants, we were amazed to see the materialization of solidified mercury, an impossible feat for any ordinary human being soon followed by the materialization of Navaratna gemstones, beautiful colored stones. Today. We got a report from our Vedic temple in Toronto and Malaysia of the Krishna Janmashtami celebrations. 
Let us take a look. Relax. Mind is an action. When you can stop walking, talking, why not thinking? Mind is not a thing. It is an action. Without having what you call as mind and living your life is what I call living enlightenment. I want you to know an important truth. Surrendering back to the at the ashram, we had a outer world. Thousand and eight Sahasra Nama Archana performed to Lord Ganesha on the occasion of Ganesha Brahmotsava celebrations. Let us take a look. The thought trend for today's Vada Pradivada and Brahma Sutras is how can prana be Brahman? How will the awareness about side effects and after effects of prana establish me in prana? Let us watch a small clip from the Brahma Sutras. Now again, word prana. For the same reason, the word prana also denotes Brahman. Means, they are saying for prana also. There are enough references in Upanishads, in Shrutis. Prana is also expressed as Brahman. Prana is also told as Brahman. I'll give you some of the references. Prastotariya Devata Prastavam Anva Yatatam Chet Avitvan Prastosya Simurdate Vipatishyati Iti Chandukya Upanishad First part, tenth canto, ninth sloka. Meaning is which is then which then is the deity? Prana is said. Regarding the Udgita, it is said Prastotri, that deity which belongs to the Prastava, etc. These are some of the references from the Upanishads, from the Shrutis, that word Prana also means Brahman. The word Prana is also used to refer Brahman. And that's all from us for tonight. Before we end our news, let's hear a quote from Swamiji. Words are but a poor substitute for the silent language of existence. Thank you for joining us and tune in for tomorrow's updates on NTV Nityanand.